Well, it can never be said that Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, whatever the hell, hasn't made hundreds of millions of dollars by promoting and popularizing the self-destruction of black people. And most people that buy his albums are white people. Imagine that. They like the self-destruction of black people, too. So Puff Daddy, of course, is garbage. And you can find videos all over the place of him soft-shoeing and doing all kinds of nonsense. But a recent video came up of him shaming people who would buy bootleg off-brand Ciroc. P. Diddy's whore ass promotes Ciroc, and so he has a vested financial interest in people not bootlegging that. This reminds me of when Napster came out way back in the day, and Garbage Ass Metallica came out whining like bitches saying, Don't steal our music, dude! Like, good afternoon, my name is, you know, like, Lars Ulrich from Metallica. I've worked for years to get where I am today. Years and years of playing clubs and recording demo tapes. Me and my buddy, like, James Hetfield here, have shed blood, sweat, and motherfucking beer to get where we are today. Beer! Good! And now we're fucking wealthy beyond, you know, like, belief. All you post pubescent boys who have bought, like, our albums and our t-shirts and our concert videos and, and, and... and t-shirts! Good! Yeah, t-shirts. You loyal fans who, like, bang your heads at our concerts and pay like $200 for a ticket, $20 for like a CD, like $50 for a Metallica t-shirt, and like $100 for a genuine Metallica cock ring. You're all fucking awesome, and we'll never forget you. You fucking made us rich. You fucking made us popular. You got us under the cover of, you know, like Kerrang! magazine. I worship you. You, the Metallica fan. Beer! Good! Unless you download it until it sleeps from Napster. Then you're going to motherfucking jail. You're motherfucking meat. You'll be some fat, greasy, tattooed bastard's buttery cornhole. Who do you think you are? I mean, just, you know, because you, like, made us rich, you think you can get free stuff? Songs that we spent upwards of, you know, like, 24 to 48 hours writing and recording? Our team of lawyers and researchers have your names, and we're gonna hunt you down like the table scrap pilfering grab asses you are. Grab asses bad! So to conclude, rock on, Metallica fans! We'll see you on tour this summer, and you Napster users will see you in jail getting gang raped. Money good! Napster bad! And meanwhile, lawyers were behind the scenes suing Metallica fans for taking the music. Similarly, this idiot P. Diddy would have you in jail if you got in the way of his financial interests, even if you're black. So this garbage-ass person is on there trying to shame people about drinking bootleg Ciroc. But also, he's, he's worried about you. He doesn't give a damn. So I was just thinking about that and, and how, for the longest time, shaming off-brands is, is requisite. It, it could cost billions of dollars, actually, to the powers that be and, and the various economic interests and, and production if you simply bought elsewhere, if they had competition or if you could just, oh, well, this is a bottle Ciroc spelled funny. I'll just you know, buy a version of it. It's way cheaper. But that's why he got Diddy, and he and he's like, yeah, hey, you know what's cool? Spending a lot of money on alcohol, man. Oh, and by the way, someone's holding us down. Meanwhile, the billionaire, well, maybe not a billionaire, but the hundred millionaire whore, Puff Daddy, wants you to know that 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 there ain't nothing street about bootlegging his, you know, you know, Ciroc.
Garbage ass clown. <laughs>